back as we look at the field. Lock of Britain, Morsali the favourite, along with Nayan Garbo and El Garouge. Kacho, the Olympic champion, as they about to come up. Even though they rank number one and two in the world. Morsali, who's uh, won the last two world championships by massive margins in Tokyo and Stuttgart. Away cleanly. Suleiman was out the back early. Look at Morsali, three from the outside. Kacho both coming across with McMullen. 2-6-2, Nyan Garbo. What will be the tactics here? Will they go out hard and try to beat Morsali? If they sit and sprint, it looks impossible to beat him. If it's just even, it looks impossible to beat him. They must try something different, and we look like we might be getting it early. The Americans gone out hard here. McMullen to lead. Nyan Garbo second, Morsali third, Chikamani fourth. Kacho sitting on Morsali. El Garouge 875. Lock on the inside, Great Britain, Sullivan, Canada. He's four from the back, Bruton outside of him, Vicky Osa. El Basir two from the back, and Suleiman at the back as McMullen leads the big guns. Nyan Garbo and Morsali, who's in third place. The only chance really that McMullen's got to have a, have a crack at any sort of medal is to take it out. He knows that the other African runners are so much faster than he is. He's had a good year so far. Run 3.36.9, 57.4 for that first lap. Very quick. Nine Garbo, 2.62. Morsley looked around 108. Hasn't lost a 1,500 since the Olympic final in 1992. Hasn't raced Nine Garbo, as Deke said, this year. Last year beat him in a thriller in Lille. Carcho's fifth, Chekamani's third. El Garouge sitting on Carcho, who sits on Morsley, who sits on Nine Garbo. Trouble. Vicky Osa was involved there with Carcho. Morsley had to step aside. The pace has slowed down considerably now. You can see that the field is really getting quite bunched up. Going wide. Vicky Osa, the widest, 428. 875, El Garouge, who won the world indoors. Morsley looks perfectly placed at 800. Nyan Garbo has to wind this up a long way from home. He doesn't have the high speed of a Carcho or a Morsley in the last lap but he can take it a long way out. Has he the courage to put it to Morsley here today and go for a long run? 62 after 57. They're playing into the favourites' hands. I think they've almost accepted, Bruce, that uh, the gold is gone. They're racing now probably for silver and bronze. I can't see how Morsley can be beaten off this slower pace. Again, McMullen inside nine, Garbo. He's waited all year to get a crack at Morsley. Now he goes a little nine Garbo. They do start to run a bit. Morsley sits and goes with him. Nine Garbo cuts across in front of McMullen. Morsley goes straight past him. Earl Garouge, the first to respond. The three favourites, one, two, three. Carcho couldn't go with them. Earl Bashir outside McMullen. Well, it's Morsley who's going to make the drive for home. Look at him wind it. Nine Garbo, Earl Garouge will try and hang on to him. The champ's away, but nine Garbo will try and stick. Can't for the moment. 55 lap. He's stretching them now. Look at him go already, Morsley. Five metres, Nyan Garbo. Three metres, El Garouge. Two metres, El Bashir. He won by a record margin in Tokyo. He nearly matched it in Stuttgart. He'll better it here. Look at this man go. He's the world record holder from 1,500 through to 3,000. He's broken two this year. He's breaking the hearts of the opposition tonight. He might be the greatest we've ever seen. It's Herb Elliott in Rome all over again. What a margin. El Garouge second. Looks, stops, celebrates. El Garouge two, Nyan Garbo three. Deke, have you seen anyone better than that? There's no way, Bruce. <laughs> Incredible domination of a race of that quality field to be able to come out. They played right into his hands. I can't understand.